It's been like this constant battle to keep the head above water about this whole story. Um, a big development in that was um, I was invited, and then I'll open this up again. I was invited in the spring of 2011 by 10 Mohawk elders in Brantford to come and search for the remains of their family members. It was, it's the oldest residential school in Canada, the Mohawk School, set up by the Anglican Church in 1832. Um, and so I sat down like I always did and listened to the people's stories of the survivors, and a lot of them began telling the same stories of children being buried at night. We went out um, ground penetrating radar. We got two archaeologists to come with us. And sure enough, we found these, at the very site where people said they'd buried fellow students, we found this a lot of dislocated soil. So we dug within an hour. And this was an accredited dig. I mean, there were archaeologists present. The mo Bill and Cheryl Squire, two of the elders, were the first to open the ground. So it couldn't be said that this white guy came in and started digging, which is what APTN, how they portrayed it later in the smear that happened. Um, but um, the, uh, we found these bones. And Geronimo Henry, one of the survivors, said that whenever they, a child died, they would bury, bury them and then plant a tree on top to cover the remains. Well, sure enough, at the base of one of these old trees, small little tree, in the roots were these white buttons. And they weren't plastic, which means they're pre-World War II. And they were um, bone, made out of bone and um, wood. And um, al they look, it looked like alab alab abalone, or something like that, some other substance besides plastic. But um, a couple of these bones we had shipped off to the Smithsonian Institute in Washington. And a, a pathologist called Don Ortner, he's one of the world, was one of the world's leading expert on detecting disease in bones, which is important because so many of the, these kids died of TB. That's an important skill. He looked at this bone. He, I remember talking to him on the phone. He said, 95% certain that's a young girl, socket bone. And uh, I'd like to come up. This is January 2012. He was dead in March. He died at 71 of a heart attack. Go figure. But uh, after that, um, the, 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 uh, they're called the Six Nations Confederacy. They're the government-funded chiefs. Bill Montour got called to Ottawa, and he was told to shut down this thing. So right away, the elders start dropping away. Rumor, this typical kind of thing, the rumor mill starts. Uh, they shut, the whole thing is shut down. And uh, subsequently, the Canadian media do report it. They never reported the actual discovery. They just reported the attacks on me. That's the only thing APTN ever said about the dig, is that this guy came in and started digging, and all the Mohawk elders are upset with him. That was it. But that's the only media evidence there is of what happened.